Greetings, got another Clash of Worlds video. There's no time to explain. Let's get right in there. All mods on, fighter team, go, go, go. All right, the boss's mechanic turn one, as he puts a damage over time effect on your team. It is physical, it is imbuable, and we're gonna abuse that. So, triple cast with Heo in the shift form, Blazing Spirit, which imbues the boss and your team, and then some crap to fill morale. Hand in hand with that, Cleum's gonna buy for Raja, and she's also gonna slay her symphony and Protagious Protection. Saz, doing what he can to fill morale, will end for Raga, and then double Pyroblast. We're gonna use the Prophet's Diadem on Genesis, triple cast Iabrea, Barrier, Gene Heal, Heal. And then Veritas of the Frost is going to triple cast Anthro Guard, Demon Guard, Icy Grasp. Alright, turn two. Cleom has the Sage Without Emotion Vision card. She's going to use the 200% Human Killer buff, Torrent of Malice. Heo's going to put up his own human killer buff with Maneater Claw. Genesis is going to use Quadruple Magic Sword, which is a physical attack, so that won't provoke the boss's counters. And Saz is going to put up Machina Slayer, his field, and just another Pyroblast. Iabrea is just going to triple cast Haste, Heal, Heal. And... Veritas of the Frost will Glacial Snap. His Dark Imbue, because we're going to be dispelling that next turn, and it generates morale, and then Katana Flick. Alright, turn three, Iabrea. No. Cleome is gonna use her base or er, her shifted LB. Iabrea is going to triple cast heal. Heo goes to the base form, triple cast blaze weapon, crimson undermine and refine stance. And now that we've cast Blaze Weapon, which is his rolling amp. We've dispelled Veritas of the Frost's Dark Imbue. So he can now use his Ice Imbue. Uh, he's going to Arcane Supplementation, Ice Imbue, and Solitary Sword Dance. Uh, reload Genesis, Magic Sword times 4. And Saz will shift, quadruple cast, Eidolon, start your engine, and hit the boss 3 times. Alright, and this turn it's going to be RNG, uh, the way we're going to be dealing with the status immunities this turn, because Iabrea's buffs aren't up, well they are up, but she needs to shift. Uh, we have some Lakshmi synergies on Heo, and we'll see if he can actually get one off. Anyways, Iabrea is going to Pyrokinesis, Awaken Mitochondria, and hit the boss. Cleom is going to triple cast Blood Red Performance, Gallant Crescendo, Scarlet Sharp Note. Heo will triple cast Daunting Aura, Ultimate Flame, and Full Break. Veritas of the Frost, triple cast Icy Accretion, Katana Flick, Icy Grasp. Saz is going to tie the Spirit, and Genesis will quad cast Elemental Burst, Magic Sword, Magic Sword, and Loveless Preface. So, 
It worked. We're good. All right. Everyone's going to LB now, except for Genesis, who's going to Ancient Epic Pur Purgatory, of course. Shift Heo. Shift Cleom. Throw up some buffs just for the morale fill. Just in case you're worried about the score. And the way this training goes, we start off with Veritas of the, Flo of the Frost and Cleom. So that Cleom can get that Katana in peril. We're going to weave Saz into that very briefly after. And then we're going to send in Iobrea and Heo, Cap the Genesis. Let's see what happens. Fifteen point nine. The boss does have fifteen billion. Seventeen billion with this team. And let's see who did what. So as you can see, uh, we did kept max out that morale score. It's not always the case. We're just getting that bar to one hundred percent maxes that out. But it, if I think it is on this boss because they buffed how much morale it takes to get to one hundred percent recently. Anyways, as far as damage done, Iobrea, no surprise, doing most of the heavy lifting at 4.5 billion. Uh, Genesis isn't really made for this fight, He's that's kind of a low roll, but he's doing alright here. Uh, Heo is going to out damage Varus of the Frost, Varus of the Frost does carry his own though. And Cleom was here, she's mostly here for the Barfaraja. That probably hurt someone out there watching this video that I just skipped all that. I do want the EX coins. Everything's about maxing out these espers when you're min-maxing. Anyways, gear. Iobrea, built for morale fill. Obviously that's a big concern on this team without Sylvie, without Melissa. Uh, so yeah, built for all that. She does have a copy of Lakshmi Synergy. Doesn't do anything because she shifted turn 4. Uh, that actually can't proc on turn one because of the imbue. In the shift form, guns, some cow gear, some killers, and Heo's vision card for some more killers, as opposed to Rick's vision card. Genesis, he is on a katana build. Uh, this katana only has 45% MP roll. Wait. This build can technically be better by cutting this Hope Scarf. I didn't care that much. I'm already one tap in the boss. Got his own TMR because he's not using his STMR. And the reason we're not using his sword is because he does. He, if he uses his SLB, that's going to trigger a magic mitigation on the boss. So we don't actually have a way to get a sword in peril. So luckily he can equip katanas in it, which is pretty good for this team. And then obviously the Moonlight Parade card. Saz has Lightning's Vision card. Built for Morale Fill. Titus Garb for the LB Mod Boost. We are bursting on turn 5, so that is an effect. Uh, yeah, nothing else. Uh, Tyva Spirit in the shift form because he has Trans Shift and he needs to shift on turn 3 for max mod buff. Besides that, he gears real easy. A2's SDMR and Force Mysterion. And he caps out. Uh, Mystic Mag Turpin also gives some human killer. And then, uh... This gives some killers. What is it? Beast Machine? Doesn't really matter. And then, the Hol Ring of Hollows gives the confusion and blind immunity that he needs. I don't remember which one it is that he doesn't have. But he does need something. Veritas of the Frost. Uh... He, he hits hard. You do need a source of status immunity, so we have winged hard on him. And then the step up vision card. Heo, again in the base form. Built for morale. Uh, he has the double Lakshmi synergy. 
Crimson Claw, his own SDMR. Built for stats, built for damage. The Change the Future is from the story event. It gives 50% uh, Demon Human Machine. So between that and the Step Up Vision card, he caps out everything. And then Cleo in the base form, which is her damage form. Uh, just built for damage. She, the Sage Without Emotional Vision card, because she does not have a human killer buff. If you don't have this, Rick's Vision card is real close. And then in the shift form, Perfect Provocation. And then built for some morale fill with Honorable Rod Arts and a Peppermint Rod. Besides that, she does have the Saviors. And every turn, that is going to give us a 5,000 shield and a little bit of healing. So, definitely goes a long way here. That's the fight. That's the team. Good luck.